I've just found. Oh there. yes, look at that. And this one, I'm actually pleased to tell you, I have just found on the beach. It's and I'm beautiful. Look at that. Actually, really excited about that one. Yay! Successful mission. Hello, everyone. You join us here at Lime Regis. Now, we've been to Lime Regis before. If you watch our Jurassic Coast tour video, you will have seen that Lime Regis was one of the places that we visited. And you also would have seen that we did a little bit of fossil hunting. But we have a little confession. If you watched right to the end of that video, you will know that we cheated. We visited a shop in Lime Regis and bought an ammonite in a rock and pretended we'd found it on Chalmers Beach. But today, we are actually going to come fossil hunting properly. There will be no cheating this time. Come join us as we go fossil hunting in Lime Regis. What a beautiful day along the Jurassic Coast. It's beautiful. 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 So we're on Black Ven Beach, which actually used to be an old Victorian bottle bank slash rubbish tip. Well, above it, yes. So not only are there lots of fossils here, hopefully, but there's lots of Victorian trinkets and glass. There's a sign up at the top which just says the site contains hazardous material. There's probably chunks of sharp glass and metal and that yes. sort of thing. So. so hence why I'm wearing a glove, because yep. I'm being ultra safe. And we're getting towards what looks like quite a good spot. So there's a large cliff fall uh, which has happened and has chucked a ton of debris onto the beach itself. Uh, so so let's hopefully we can find some across. fossils. Let's find some fossils. I wouldn't bother looking in there. I'm not looking for fossils. Oh, you've done that thing where we come on a fossil hunt and you're looking for things that aren't fossils. Yeah. Go on then, what you found? I'm finding bits of sea glass. Oh, no, not again. Because for those of you that might be aware, I do an awful lot of crafting and I need sea glass because everybody is buying my pebble art frames. They are. Thank we'll, you very much. We'll put the link down below. Yes, but it does mean that we just need to find some stuff. Well, I found three bits now. See, I'm multitasking. Right, before the tide comes in, let's head that way. Let's head that way. And find some fossils. And find some fossils. That's what we were saying about the Victorian dump. What Big chunks is of metal. that? I'm not sure, this is just an old pipe. But yeah, it's come up down from the cliff and has probably washed into the sea and been moved about. Um, but yeah, a big chunk of metal. It's been exposed by the cliff erosion. I don't know what that is. Maybe they're like old oil cans or something. Yeah, interesting. Right, I reckon that is going to be where we're going to find some fossils. So let's go. Give us a rundown of your tools for the trade. I have got some gloves. Got some gloves. Got some safety glasses. Oh, they look cool. Very important. Yeah. Got a trowel. A little pot. So they say to bring a sieve. I've got That'll no holes in the bottom of my yep. pot, so it'll have to do. A little hammer. And a flower pot, because it's got holes that in the bottom. That could be a sieve, yes, a sieve there in. you go. Perfect. Makeshift. All right, Let's see what we can find. Everything we need. The beach here is scattered with debris from the Victorian rubbish dump. Here we found a really interesting bottle. It's all intact. That's really weird, isn't it? You'd think it would break before it got crushed like that. Let's show the people at home. Show the people at home and then we'll go and wash it later on. Yeah. Let's make sure you can see. Yeah, so it's a bottle there. But it's all been crushed. Crushed but not broken. So this is actually turned more into a treasure hunt for anything than it has a fossil hunt. Drive shaft. Let's look at its rubber boot on. In good nick that. That's probably better nick than some of my um, boots. Go on then, what's our top tips for finding fossils? 
top tips are to look for iron pyrite. Iron pyrite, yeah. So you're looking for uh, shiny deposits on the sand usually, um, but sometimes in the, in the clay and in the mud. So if you find one within the iron pyrite, then there's usually quite a few, sort of a congregation of them. But you have to find the iron pyrite first. I'm doing is just kind of um, disturbing the top level of the stones because usually they're in there somewhere. In amongst the metal and all the sea glass. Have you spotted one? A bit of one. Oh yeah. It's just the imprint. Of well that's a start isn't it? That's, that's what we're looking for. That's an imprint of an ammonite. Half an ammonite. Clara half Stephen nil. Now to find an actual one. Yeah, we need a whole one, don't we? A little one. Let's keep looking. So there's the imprint. Oh yeah. There would be. Oh yeah, you can see them quite clearly there. But is that, yeah, it's hard. Ooh, so you know what you're doing. How we break it off there? Oh, you've got to be super careful now. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, you can clearly see that. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, but it's not an actual, it's not a hard one though. Yeah. I don't think. No. Oh, that's look. a good start, look at that. That's well cool. So you'll often find loads and loads of them in the slate, the slate material. But you'll find that as soon as you get it out, it will just disintegrate. Yeah, you've got to be really lucky when you're breaking into the rocks there that you don't actually smash the fossils which are inside them. Yeah, but even if you get them out whole, you'll get them whole and they'll just fall to pieces. They spent the next five hours fossil hunting. Ooh. Here we go. And that's what I'm looking for, little ammonites. Not the most pronounced, but that's a good start. Oh, for sake. Oh, we're going to have to bleep that. Ah, oh, I is... found one and then it <laughs> flicked out my finger. It that's was the problem with wearing gloves. Tiny. Well, news update. There. Um, oh yeah, that's it. That is tiny. That's cool. I'm going to um, stop wearing gloves. Yeah, we've, we found a uh, good deposit of iron pyrite so this sort of stuff you can sort of see the the shimmer the reflections on it but there's loads of it here and where there's iron pyrite there are generally ammonites we're not going to say definitely because we've only found a tiny bit of one i reckon somebody's been here there were there was a fossil tour this morning and i reckon they've pilfered them all i reckon they have yeah because look that's like a Ten tiny more. tiny tiny bit and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for ammonites that are made up of iron pyrite. Because then they're hard. They're hard and they're shiny. Ow! <laughs> it's not comfortable work. And it's not when you've got a pocket full of sea glass, no. Yeah. I keep finding lots of fragments. Yeah, I found quite a few fragments of shells and loads of iron pyrite. Yeah. But you'll find that when you find the fossil, it will be quite heavy and it'll be nice and shiny and gold. Yeah. Just like how you see them in the shop. I'm really excited now. Because we're at a point where we can find them. Hopefully. For sure. One of the risks of this is that it becomes so addictive that you actually forget about the tide. Uh, which is coming in behind us. So we've got to be quite quick. I think we've got another 15-20 minutes before we need to leave. Actually that water has come in quite quick. Yeah. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on that. Hey, there we go. Have you found one? There we go. And it's gold as well. Oh, I've dropped it. Oh, you've dropped <laughs> and it's, it. And it's gold as well. There we are. Success. We found our ammonite. Check that out. Can there we you go. go home now? Oh, that is cool. <sighs> well, we have to go home soon because the tide is coming in. Oh, that one is cool, actually. That's really cool. Yeah. Chip away that last little bit. Yeah, it just needs a tiny bit of tidying up. And I reckon that's it. Weird that the iron pyrite only seems to be in this little patch. It is, isn't it? 
Oh, found one, found one, found Ooh. one, found one, found one. Oh, that's cool. Found a beauty. I just set the camera off. I found a beauty. There we go. And he appeared. Oh, perfect. Out yes. of nowhere. There you go. So you've just got to be patient with fossil hunting. That's my problem. I don't have much patience. <laughs> I've just found. Oh there. yes, look at that. And this one, I'm actually pleased to tell you, I have just found on the beach. We didn't go and buy it from a shop. Woohoo! And it's I'm beautiful. Look at that. Actually, really excited about that one. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Successful mission. Success. Come on, then, paleontologist Claire. Let's see what you've got. Okay, so in our little pot, we've got lots and lots of bits of fool's gold. Yeah, iron pyrite. Iron pyrite. We've got the old bottle that I'm going to clean up that we found in the very beginning. Yep, the crushed bottle. The crushed bottle. Cool. I don't know how old it is. Which I'm just going to put there for a minute. And then we found all of these beautiful, yes, I know they're only small. Beautiful shiny. But they're absolutely stunning. Oops, I don't want the pot to tip There's up. There's a tiny little baby one in there as well. There's a but, yeah. tiny... Oh, yeah. He's not. He's not a baby one. That's a button. Oh, the, the baby, baby one, baby one okay. is here. So just to give you a little size rep representation. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny one. Yeah. Extremely happy with our little hall, hall of fossils. And like we were saying, the sea has done the work for us, especially with this one. There's absolutely no bits of rock at all left in that one. So some of these other ones... We'll need to have a little chip away at. We'll need chipping away. The baby one doesn't, the baby one's fine, but yeah. Hey. Spot on. Successful mission. Well guys, that took us long enough, um, but we found some fossils here on Black Bend Beach at Lyme Regis. Finally. I mean, I think we're going to carry on looking. Probably. We'll turn the cameras off so you don't have to see all of us kind of digging here until sunset but yes. then we do need to be off the beach in about 15 minutes time because the tide is coming in um, and we do not want to get stranded no we do not the island. <laughs> <laughs> but um that's another chunk of iron pyrite that's just kind of cut in half oh, yeah. we're easily distracted um if you've enjoyed this video then please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and we will see you in a video coming really soon bye, bye. for now Do you know what we're looking for? <laughs> Let's go tell Claire the good news about Ari the Ammonite. Where's the Ammonite graveyard? That's this. Oh. Well, not, not along there, but along the rocks around here. But they're all along the floor, aren't they? Yeah. Not in the air. Oh, obviously. I found my first Ammonite. Ammonite. <laughs> what we're looking for. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yes. That looks real actually, but it's, it's just carved into concrete. Oh, is it not real? No. Are you sure? It's part of the flood defences. No. This fossil is the shell of an anamite. Dates back approximately two million years. Oh. The anamite was discovered in 2013. You're reading signs again? Yes. But just to get your facts right, it's not concrete, it's real. There we go, see this is the spot to go to. Wherever there is ammonite, there are fossils. What? Wherever there's... <laughs> Pyrite, there's fossils. Wherever there's ammonites, there's fossils. That's what you've just said. And it's worth coming at low tide. Certainly worth coming at low, low tide. Um, well, you have to come at low tide, because if you don't, all of this is covered up. You'll be swimming, and it'll be difficult to find them. Well, well that took us, took us long enough, didn't it? It took a... Ooh. It's okay, you. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another one, I think. Is it? No, it's just yeah, a knob just getting of distracted gold. Again. Um, it's yeah. just a knob of gold. Um, I keep sneezing. Oh. <coughs> there must be something in these rocks. Hi, right.